We started off using the pen tool and talking about anchor points and how to manipulate anchor points. So let's just quickly review that. So if I select this with my selection tool, I can move it around and do a few different things. But if I want to get to the anchor points, it's this tool that I need, the direct select tool. So right now that I've changed to it, you can see I have four anchor points. These anchor points are called simple anchor points. I can click off and click on the path, and now they are unselected, and I can click on one or drag a bounding box around and select one anchor point. So I can move this around, for example. So those are simple anchor points. Next on this circle, I select it. I can see I have four anchor points around the outside. I'll select this top one. This top anchor point is called a smooth anchor point. A smooth anchor point means that when I move one handle, it's, this is called a directional handle right here. And when I move it in a smooth anchor point, I call it the wave because it impacts both curves coming in and out of the anchor point. It, it impacts the way the curve on the right and it impacts the curve on this side of the anchor point, the left side. Now there's another type of anchor point and that's called an anchor point with handles. I like to call it independent. So let's make one. We can convert a simple anchor point. So here's a simple anchor point. I there's, there's many ways to do this. I'm just going to show you the simplest way. I'll go to convert and if I click and hold and drag, now I have changed this to a smooth anchor point. And you'll see that I move one handle and it impacts the curve coming in and the line curve going out. So again, here's another smooth anchor point. I want to make it a corner anchor point with handles. S and how I do this is I press and hold my Alt key and I pull up on one of these directional handles. And you can see now I'm only impacting the curve to the right of this anchor point. So that is a corner anchor point with handles and it's probably called that because with a little bit of manipulation, I can get quite a 90 degree corner here coming in and out. So the next thing we did was to go to the pen tool. So the pen tool is right here. I can tell my pen to give me simple anchor points with a single click. One, whoops, I dragged a little bit. One click, two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, and press control and click off. And when I go and examine this object, these are all simple anchor points. There's no directional lines with handles on them. But I can force those by clicking my pen tool, and then I click, hold, and drag. Click, hold, and drag, and drag in the direction. So my N letter goes up, so I'm dragging up at the same angle. I drag up, click, hold, drag down, click, hold, drag up, and I can just probably finish it with a single click. Control, click, off. So when I go to examine this one, you will see that I have, there's a selected anchor point, and I have those crazy wave or smooth anchor points. So I would like to make this shape differently. So to 
impact this one coming out all by itself, I can hold down my Alt key and click and drag this one. And now this one controls the curve coming in and this one controls the curve coming out. The next thing that we did was I said to practice drawing, go get yourself a silhouette, um, go to more tools and click the color and ask for some yellow silhouettes, right click and copy the image and bring it onto here and then to right click and lock it and just practice your pen tool and see, it does take a little practice, and just see if you can, and it takes experience, if you can go around the silhouette. So I'm going clockwise, so I need to drag in this direction. How far I drag depends on how big this curve is, and I think it's fairly sizable, so I'm guessing. So I'm clicking here, and then I need to drag in the direction I'm going in, and clicking here, and so on. And then I'm going to control click just to end that. So practice going around silhouettes and you'll find out how good you are. And again, uh, this little blob here. Uh, so I just have the analogy of a clock here that when I start to drag, I need to make it in the direction. So it's about 1 o'clock right now because that's the direction I'm going in. If you pretend that every time you click, your, this is your anchor point. Okay, so I have a curve here. Actually, I'm pretty straight to here. And I have a big curve here. So I just did a single click. So that means that when I click, I have this hill. I'm going to click at the bottom of the hill. I need to pull and get this one as close as I can. But the trouble is that if I'm going to continue, you can see I'm going out at about 3 to 4 o'clock. And if I try and do that, I lose the curve I need. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key, and I'm going to come and say, OK, I'm coming out at this curve here. So I've just forced that to be a corner anchor point with handles, which I call the independent one. Now I have a bit of a little valley here, so I'll come here to the start of another curve, and that looks good, And but I want to come out always in that direction. So again, I press my Alt key and line it up on about the 2 o'clock here. Here's my curve. I'm going to try and get around the corner of this curve. I pull out, and in this case, I'm going about 7 o'clock, and I can just continue on to about... Well, I could try for all the way down here, but it's usually easier if you break it up a little bit, but the sure sign of an amateur is too many of these. So you can see I have I did that pretty well, but I need this to come out there, and this one has to be there. So. I press and hold my Alt, I go in the direction I need to go, I let go of my mouse, I let go of Alt, and I'll just single click to close that blob, and I'll just move it off, and I hope that helps.